you, Kevin. That is for adults only, despite the fact they are in clear view and open reach of anyone that wanted to get their hands on them. And lastly, our greatest treasure. <laughs> Jacob found the Board of Education. Now anyways, there are several things you have to worry about when you're making a recipe. The first thing is how to choose your recipe. Now first, you have to choose a cookbook at random. Now the bigger and heavier, the better. Then you flip open to a random page and try to find one with the most complicated ingredients and the weirdest to our foreign name. Which means it's French. Exactly. And in any other situation, that'd be a bad thing. But since it's cooking, it's all right. Now, just because you know your recipe and it's only in one book, that doesn't mean that you should have at least three or even four cookbooks spread out around you. That way people will think you know what you're doing. Okay. Here we have a stack of books that will be perfect for any recipe. This one actually has cooking in the title. That's important, because if no one knows what you're doing, it's just going to look like you're reading a bunch of books, and that's never a good thing. Now this one is for health people. It's stupid, but it still gets the minorities on your side. Now the last book is important to prop up. This way everyone can see the pretty picture of the dish you're not making. Now in the kitchen, it's important to dress for success. So you wear a floral or nature print apron. Now remember, real men wear real aprons. Really. It brings out your curves. I know. Gee whiz, Jacob. How'd you get to be so knowledgeable at cooking? Well, Kevin, as you know, our dad is a pretty hungry guy. One day he came home from work and was feeling particularly hungry. My mom offered him a candy bar. Oh, he didn't like that. So he took out a bag of Reese's and ate one, and he said, Why so delicious? He ate another one and said, why so delicious? Then he was feeling particularly out of character, so he offered me one. I ate it and I said, Why so delicious? Anyway, that's why I'm so good at cooking. But what are we cooking, Jacob? You. Her favorite food, of course. But what's my favorite food? Why steak, of course. Now go get it. Now, first things first, we have to let it frost. This sucks. You're right. I have an idea. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that was frosting, nice and quick. Wait for it. Wait for it. I should probably get a watch. Now! It's done! What do we do now? We season it. How do we do that? Through a montage. Your pimples are bad. I know. Let's go. Two sticks of butter, 
One slab of lard You're tasting so good But you're baking so hard Cooked you to a crisp Now you've turned jet black Two sticks of butter Or one slab of lard I'm just a sauteer Some say a souffle -er. Tossing the spice Not always at dinner You say you don't like it I'll shove it down the throat I'm part of the dish You need an antidote Under pressure Wait! This is just ridiculous! Alora, thank you! It's too much! Uh, look at the steak! The steak's been done for nearly half an hour, now it's cold! I'm gonna have to nuke it. Wait! <sighs> now that's how you make a steak! But, you made one fatal flaw. You weren't wearing your apron. Welcome to Jacob's School of Thought.